What's up guys, it is Chris back with another news video. Today we are talking about news from Omega and a new Speedmaster chronoscope inspired by watches from the 1940s. So, getting right into it, according to Omega, discover history reborn in this unique collection inspired by Omega's chronograph watchmaking from the 1940s. It's a Speedmaster quite unlike any other. Heritage takes center stage in this special 43 millimeter Speedmaster chronoscope collection, which takes its inspiration from Omega's chronograph wristwatches from the 1940s. The elaborate dial design certainly makes this a unique choice within the famous Speedmaster lineup of watches. Returning to Omega's vintage roots, the leaf-shaped hands, and three snail timing scales on the dial give these watches a clear link to the 1940s watchmaking. There's also an elegant addition of a spiral track pattern that runs beneath the Arabic numerals. So yes, this is heavily inspired by 1940s chronographs, not only from Omega, we see this spiral sort of snail track on a lot of watches during that time period. However, they have bulked up the case on this. So this is 43 millimeters. They have bulked up the case on this. I think I would have liked to see this closer to a 40 millimeter case would have been a little bit more in keeping with those 1940s chronographs, which were usually around 36 and 37 millimeters. The largest would get to around 40 millimeters. I think that the Omegas from those times are actually around 40 millimeters, so they were on the larger side. Uh, however, it would have been nice if they brought this down a little bit. So all of them will be in 43 millimeters. They're coming out with two different versions. One will be a stainless steel case, the other a bronze gold. For that stainless steel, there's going to be three different dial versions. There's going to be a blue, a white, and then a panda dial version. The panda dial version gets a little bit of a red accent. Very good looking dials on these. That blue looks really nice. You get white sub dials on there and then the white dial you're getting sort of a blue track on there and white sub dials as well. Uh, and then of course the panda dial, white dial, black sub dials really look sharp. Uh, obviously the case design, very similar to the current Speedmaster. So that does make sense. Um, you're getting a choice between a bracelet or a strap. On a strap, it's costing $84.50, and then on a bracelet, you're paying $86.50. So $8,650 on a bracelet. You're getting uh, micro adjust on that bracelet as well, which is a, a welcome addition. The bronze is going to be, or bronze gold, will be a brown dial with brown sub dials. Uh, and I believe the bezel is actually black on this one. $14,100, so on the pricey side, obviously, but this is solid gold. It is a bronze gold, which is sort of like a rose colored gold, uh, which looks very, very good. Through the sapphire crystal case back, so you're getting a sapphire crystal case back on here, you can see the Metas, M-E-T-A-S certified uh, manual winding Omega caliber. It is the coaxial master chronometer caliber 9908. This is decorated beautifully. It's Metas certified, so very, very accurate. Uh, a lot of their watches have been moving towards this Metas certification. Um, just a really beautiful watch, a uh, really beautiful case back on here. Uh, obviously you could see that movement, so uh, pretty cool. I wish that they came out with this in a smaller version. Usually what Omega do is they come out with the larger version for one reason or another, and then eventually come out with a smaller version. So I'm hoping that they come out with a smaller version. Um, when the Speedmaster comes out and it's in 42 millimeters, that kind of makes sense to me because the original Speedmaster was in 42 millimeters. I'm not sure why they would immediately come out with the 43 millimeter. Uh, I definitely could pull off a 43 millimeter, but I, like I said, I would like to see this in a 40 or 41 millimeter. They're up for pre-order right now, so they are not currently available. They will be available in the next following weeks. Uh, you could definitely put yourself on a waiting list if you are interested in one of these. Uh, again, $84.50 is where they're starting at on a leather strap. $86.50 if you want it on the bracelet, and then going up to that $14,100 for the bronze gold. Uh, beautiful watches, uh, really nicely presented. I think that they do a good job uh, especially with that gold version. I really love that bronze gold. If you've ever seen it in person, it's a very warm gold, uh, beautiful watches. But tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Uh, I think these are cool. I think they're expensive. 
Uh, I think they're a little bit on the bigger side. For people with smaller wrists, this might be an issue. Uh, but again, Omega always come out with other versions of these watches. This is just the introduction, so hopefully they do that. Um, tell me what you guys think. I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. I very much appreciate it. It helps me bring you these news videos. Uh, hopefully you find uh, these news videos helpful. I try and bring you news as it happens, so you guys are uh, up to date with new watch releases as they happen from a lot of our favorite brands. Uh, please also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watch Chris blog all one word uh, also I have some links in the description those links are to Amazon if you click those links and buy anything and help support the channel it doesn't cost you anything extra interrupt your prime benefits however I very much appreciate it anyway thank you for logging on I'll catch you guys in the next video